what's going on everybody um, before we get into today's video I want to give a little update on some stock photos that I've done in the past um, I did a video on doing uh, stock photography with an iPhone and I think in that video I said I'd give some updates um, and I think at the be at the end of that video I talked about how a lot of those images had been accepted um, but I wanted to give a little uh, more detailed information, I guess, uh, in terms of those particular images. Um, not only the images that I did in the coffee houses uh, in a previous video, but I've done a lot of stock photography with my iPhone since then. Um, and what seems to be true is Shutterstock will take those photos if they're, de you know, if they're decent. Um, they don't seem to have a problem with the quality that the iPhone is producing. Um, however, Adobe stock has not taken anything that I've sent them from the iPhone. Um, usually the rejection notice is, you know, lack of quality or too much noise. Uh, so for what that's worth, iStock seems to be willing to take that quality of a photograph, um, where Adobe stock will not. Um, kind of mixed results in some other areas. I think Dreamstime took the photographs. Uh, accepted most of them, um, and I'm trying to think who else. I think iStock might have accepted them, but specifically Adobe has said no to all of them. And um, as far as sales, I've had two sales from iPhone images, um, none of them from that coffee house uh, photo shoot that I documented. Uh, but here's the two images that I did uh, recently get sales on not making a whole lot of money on them by any means. Um, but you know, sales are sales and, um, they all add up in the stock game. It's not a, uh, quality of the sale as much as a lot of times it's the quantity of sales that you get. So these two images are ones that have sold and will continue to do some iPhone stock from time to time. And yeah, so, so if you're doing it, keep at it. Uh, there is sales to be had, and uh, if, if more happens, I will let you know. Okay, so the video I want to do today is, is about stock photography as well. Um, and a lot of times stock photography is just, you know, like, you know, like with your iPhone, you just take a picture that you happen to see, you know, the clouds are beautiful, so you stop and you take a photograph of the clouds. Um, other times you do a planned photo shoot, which is what I'm going to do today. And I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, probably not my most exciting subject, but I think it has some sales potential. So I've, I've been wanting to do it for a while. Um, several years ago, I came up with this idea uh, and I, I set this shot up and I, I took a photograph of my wife looking like a, you know, stressed out housewife trying to clean the house and, um, this image has, I don't think has ever sold. Maybe it's sold once in the several years that it's been on the different agencies. Now it was accepted by everybody. It just has not sold. However, when in between shots, Amy went in to change shirts or I don't remember what she did, but I had this moment in between and I took a picture of just the bucket and the mop. This shot has sold many times. It was just something I did in between shots of Amy and I, I sent it in and lo and behold this one is the one that sells all the time so ever since then I thought you know I should set up a photo shoot of just cleaning products and so that's what I'm going to do today I've got uh, the studio set up I've got a white background I'm going to run to the dollar store I'm going to spend 10 bucks 12 bucks maybe we'll see I'm going to get a bunch of generic uh cleaning supplies, bottles, sponges, gloves, whatever. It's going to be a relatively inexpensive shoot, uh, but you do have to spend a little money sometimes to make some money, and we're just going to do cleaning products on a white seamless, and yeah, we'll see if it does as well as this bucket and mop, and uh, we'll hopefully create some images that are going to generate sales for the next several years. All right, so let's go. Another reason that I've thought about doing this shoot for a while is because a while back um, I did a photograph of a white coffee cup and it 
wasn't really a planned photograph. I just happened to go get myself uh, a cup of coffee someplace and they served it to me in a very generic looking white coffee to go cup uh, with a black lid. It had no labeling on it. It was very generic and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to take a photograph of this. So I put it on a set and lit it and uh, that to Right now, I would say in the last 12 months, it's one of the top selling images on two or three of the different sites that I'm on. Uh, not only one of the top selling images, but iStock is very good about telling you how many times an image has been viewed. Now, I realize that simply something being viewed doesn't mean that it's sold and, you know, it could view, be viewed, you know, 10,000 times and never sell. Um, but it is one of the top, top viewed images as well as one of the top selling images, uh, at least in the last six, six eight months for sure. Um, so just a very simple on white generic everyday item uh, has kind of also fueled wanting to do this uh, cleaning product shot. So um, yeah, that's my reasoning behind wanting to do this shoot uh, and we'll see if it pays off. Okay, just going to simple, going to the Dollar Tree. Um, I'm not trying to buy anything expensive and high-end. Uh, yeah, let's go in. Be about 12 bucks. Various cleaning things. We should be good. Let's go check out. How are you today? Good. <laughs> you ladies have a wonderful evening. Oh, you too. You do the same. Okay, $12.48. Not a bad little deal. Um, question is, can we take photos that will produce more than $12.84 in revenue and make it all worth it? I apologize I didn't have better video in there, but I have not mastered the art of vlogging in public as of yet, being discreet about it. Um, and as you can see, my camera fell over as I was going through the uh, checkout line, but you know. Quick interruption to the video today, guys. Um, I was listening to the radio the other day and well, I live in the South and it is hot in the South. And I mean, let's face it, it's summertime. It's hot everywhere, but especially here in the South. It's supposed to be in the mid nineties today. And um, I was listening to the radio the other day and they were talking about um, baking cookies on your dashboard during the day. And I thought, you know, hey, I love cookies. I'm gonna give it a try. I've got a black car with black interior. My car sits in the sun all day long at work. I'm gonna give it a try. Please scan your Ingalls Advantage card now. Please place do you have any coupons? Select your method of payment from... If you have any coins, please insert them in the coin acceptor before inserting the bills in the bill acceptor. Don't forget... 
forget to take your cash from the cash dispensers. Please remove your bags, take your change, and your receipt. Okay, I got my cookie dough, cookie sheet. It's already very hot in the car. I've parked it to where the uh, windshield is pointing right into the sun, which this is starting to sound like a bad idea because I got to get in this car and drive home this afternoon. But my car might smell like cookies. Mmm, cookie dough. How can you lose? This is a win-win, I think. All right, so we'll put this up here. Okay, so there's the... Uh... There we go. All right, so... Cookies are right in the uh, dashboard, right underneath the windshield. Ready to go, they're pretty thick. I can't imagine that's ideal, but I don't know. We'll, we'll give it a try. Let's go to work, make some money. So I just got out here, the cookies are, you know, I don't know if they're fully baked. It's 94 degrees out here and the sunshine has been beating in this car all day. I don't know what the temperature is in the car, but it is super warm. I did come out and, ouch, that's, ooh. I did come out and put, a, um, I'll show you, I put a, a towel and a, and a, a box underneath because I didn't, I, I got to thinking that it might destroy uh, it might melt my dash if it got too hot. So hopefully there was some wisdom in that. Um, but let's test one of these. Um, hmm. All right. It's a little soggy, a little underdone, but, but not horrible. I would say they definitely cooked. So, all right, back to the video. Okay, I'm back in my studio, which is kind of my office slash studio. It's a pretty small little space, but we're gonna make this work. And you can see I've got the setup going back here. Um, very simple setup. I've got a white seamless. I've got a light over here that is gonna light that white seamless. And then the softbox is gonna light this area right here, which is just a white foam core. That's where I'm gonna put the cleaning products. Um, I've got the 70 to 200 on here. Uh, we may change that. Um, but yeah, real simple. I'll probably put a fill card on the other side to uh, fill in some shadows because I'm not trying to do anything crazy. Just nice, clean, even lighting. And yeah, so we'll tweak that as we go to make sure everything looks beautiful. But that's kind of the basic setup. Okay, just a quick review of what I got because I don't know how well my video was in the store. Um, I got a plunger. I got a spray bottle that looks like that. We'll have to take all the tags off. Um, I think that's kind of like a feather duster kind of thing. Um, I got a uh, dustpan and a, and a brush. Um, got another spray bottle. Um, here's kind of a scrubbing brush. And then I got, a, I got another dustpan with a little bit different brush. We'll see how that goes. Um, there's another cleaning brush. I guess you would do uh, like dishes with that. A pair of yellow gloves. Um, Brillo pad, which we will not show the label by any means. And then some generic uh, sponges. And I think that's it. And of course, A bucket and we'll do one big group shot and then we'll probably individualize it a little bit and do separate items uh, 
and hopefully come away with 10, maybe 15 shots. What I do is I take the photograph, adjust the lights. I, I'm not shooting tethered to the computer, which I really, ideally, I should be. Um, but what I'm doing is downloading them, bringing them over, checking the lighting, the exposure, make sure everything is the way it should be. And I think I'm there. Um, one of the interesting things about these cheap items, you know, a dollar a piece, they sit a little funny. So I'm gonna try to make sure they're all sitting nice and straight up and down. Um, all the tags are taken off of them and uh, I think we're good to go. We just need to come up with a bunch of combinations and do something cool. Um, yeah, we just need to come up with a bunch of combinations and take some nice shots. And for the most part, there won't be a lot of uh, post-processing. I want to do as much of it in camera as we possibly can. Maybe some dust and some little scratches on them and things like that. But I don't want to have to do a lot of Photoshop work um, to the images in terms of processing. So, yeah, there we go. I think we got it. Sweetie. Hey. You want to try a cookie? I made it myself. Sure. <laughs>